Okay, guys. Stevie talked me into putting a 2.1 inch valve in this. I think it's probably not practical for this casting. At least there's one port that I'm working on. I don't know how thick the rest of them are. We'll know more when we cut this up. But I did these last night and I was too beat to do the video. So, and I did have a problem when I was doing the dicum. I started spraying the dicum and the valve snapped closed. So, what we see as far as the dicum uh, is skewed info. So, I don't know whether we really need to worry about it too much. But, it definitely is different than what we've seen before. It does go all the way over to the plug. It goes way, way over on this side. But, that may have been while the valve was snapping closed. Let's take a look at the bore. Okay, not nearly as much in the bore because it did, I didn't get to finish spraying, right? Let's see what it looks like down its throat. Okay, the valve actually looks quite good, but you have to remember it was, it was snapping closed while I was spraying. And uh, this looks... I'm going to say very much the way it did last time, except it has moved over this way some more. Not necessarily bad. You know, you have to remember, it's a bigger valve. So, while I was putting the valve seats in, a little piece of this chamber had to come out for the top cut. So, it does change the uh, dynamics a little bit. Uh, it's still a very tight throat. It's only about 88 percent on the throat and it's a 45 uh, seat now I don't know if I'm going to waste this nice valve and get do a 50 on here you guys will have to to uh, twist my arm and see if I'll do that I also have I found like a 23rd cut I don't think I published. I think I'm going to publish that. I'll probably publish that before this one. Sorry about that, guys. But I'd like to keep it in order, but I obviously I goofed that up. I still think, you know, certain guys would want to watch it. It was while I was changing that, uh, that ramp radius and the progression it worked. It was actually uh, really good flows on that one. I think I'm going to publish it today. Okay, considering the valve snapped closed, it really doesn't look bad from this angle. Okay. Okay, you can see I put a chunk of clay in where I changed the radius of that ramp. How close is it to the one before this cut? I don't know. It's I guesstimated. It should be pretty close. So any pluses or minuses we get really should be more towards the size of the, the intake valve than anything else. I should also state that I changed our exhaust to a 50 degree and I cut a, an old valve to a 1.55. Let's see how they fit in the chamber. That's, that's interesting to look at. Okay, guys, they fit quite, quite nicely. We got 42 thousandths clearance there. In reality... You could, depending upon how close the, the guides are, you know, standard Chevy spacing, you should be able to squeeze a 2.1 to 1.6. I don't know. I don't know how close uh, guys push that, but I know what I would push it to. And uh, this is this is more than enough clearance for us to beat the life out of it. If we can get the uh, 810 heavy duty cylinder uh, swirl port heads, those bowls might might be able to handle the 2.1 a little better if it's really a thicker casting. I don't, I mean, I stated that it was, but who knows? Who knows how clear that info is? Okay, the exhaust, literally I put a top cut on it. I put a seat on it. I put a lower cut on it and I blended it out. Otherwise, that port is exactly the same. Nothing else has been touched on it. And it... I have to find an older flow sheet. I, I think the smaller valve beat the bigger valve, to be honest. I'll have to see if I can find a, a, 
an older flow sheet with the one six. Okay, guys, our, I think it was 26th cut was our last one we did with the 20850. The only thing I had changed is I brought it up to a 2.1 on a 45 because the valve already had a 45 on it. So how did we do? Well, these pluses and minuses are in reference to this plus, uh, plus, if minus, minus, minus. You would think the bigger valve would really open up your low left, but you got to remember it's more shrouded now. Okay. The rest of the chamber was not changed. That little bit that was, uh, cut out by the uh, the top stone is the only deshrouding that was done. The rest of it's the same. And we got a bunch of pluses, plus, 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 plus to about 800, and then we lose a touch. So we do good in the middle here. Not great, because we did better than this before. Remember, this was, this was a step back. Okay? And, I mean, if we looked at our flow before this, Okay, uh, you got a couple pluses up high, and then the 25th cut kind of wins. Okay, the 25th cut is actually probably make, would make more power than our 27th cut with the bigger valve. Okay, that's, that's interesting, and I think I went over this, but I'm not 100% sure. I cc'd the chamber, it was 228. Port was 228, the chamber was 74.5, which is, came out bigger than I would have expected. And the exhaust port is still a nice, tidy 66 cc's. That little exhaust port is really cranking. I'm sure I can get more out of it if we need to, because it's still quite thick. And I remember I cut, I cut my original uh, heads open, and I have a picture of that exhaust port somewhere. It's That was also an 810 head. That was a very heavy... Heavy cast around that exhaust port. Okay, let's take a look at our swirls. These are our swirls. So these pluses and minuses are in reference to this. Minus, minus, plus, 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 all the way down. Now, this is a shorter valve, so I was only able to bring it up to 900. Is our, is our swirl curve still good? Well, I think this was a little too fast, and this went up a little bit more. So I, I think it's a little fast right now. I'd like to knock it down a touch, but it's not bad. Let's take a look at our airspeeds. Okay, that's our 26th cut. And these speeds here are our 27th cut. What happened to our airspeeds? Well, minus plus plus sped up well over, well over 300 at the bottom of that pinch. Now, this was taken at 0.6. Okay. Interesting what happened with the roof speeds, right? This is what they were. This is what they are. A hundred, a hundred feet per second difference on this one. And what happened with our short side? Plus, plus, plus. All right, the bigger valve <laughs> really brought it all back quite good, actually, right? Very, relatively close, not too fast. These are pretty good. It's really not bad. I, I'm pretty sure with a little tweaking on a, a virgin port that's not all hogged out like this one, I could uh, I could do something with the 2.1. And uh, we're going to bounce that around a little bit. Um, I'd really like to find another 2.1. If I can find another 2.1 valve that I can cut for a 50 and waste, I might do that. Let's go over our exhaust. Let me see if I can find an older flows of the exhaust versus the 1.55. Okay, my memory for the exhaust was not accurate. These were our cut number seven was the last time I even touched the exhaust. It had a 1.6. It was probably on a 45, to be honest, guys. I don't think it cut it for a 50. I thought the 155 with a 50 did better than it because I don't remember it topping out that much better, but with the big pipe, this one went 221.1 with an inch and seven eighth pipe at 600, and at 600, this went 224.7. So the 1.6 beats it by a little bit, but 
these pluses and minuses are in reference to this. Minus, 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 two pluses, minus, minus. So it, it only did better in two spots. It's still not a bad port. I mean, this is really banging for what it is. It's, it's a tiny exhaust port that flows really well. Which is an advantage on uh, on street stuff. This is going to be more of a higher RPM stuff. I probably need to do quite a bit more work on the exhaust to really get it where it needs to. Let's take a look at the uh, the airspeeds for the exhaust. Okay, the airspeeds tell us a lot. Now this was taken at 600 lift, and they were both pretty close, right? This was just broke 200. And this one was just a little bit less than 200, 198.8. But take a look at the air speeds, right? These air speeds versus these air speeds. These pluses and minuses in reference to these. Plus, plus, plus. Plus, plus, minus. Died a little bit at the very bottom of the floor. Plus, plus, minus. It looks better as far as air speeds, except for these two lower spots. It actually looks better, right? But... Pretty close, pretty close as far as uh, speeds are. Remember, it's really the same port. It just has a different valve and a different seat on it. But it's interesting to see how much the air speeds change within that due to the valve coming away from the chamber wall a little bit. That's important. In fact, if I was to do this from scratch with the smaller exhaust valve, I probably wouldn't deshroud it as much. It's interesting to think about all the different uh, different ways you can go about it. But uh, overall, the uh, the bigger valve is not a total loss. It's not a total win either. I may cut it for a 50 if I can find a valve. I said that before. The exhaust with the smaller, smaller valve, as far as I'm concerned, needs more work. Chime in and let me know whether you think it needs more work or it's more than enough to uh, to spin a 393 into the ozone and make some serious power. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out. Have a good night.